Now this is like really fine, tiny rock yeah, work. Yeah. Little bitty ones in between to make it where they didn't have enough form. Looking the other direction down this amazingly flat wall. Okay, so I just want you all to look at the mortar that was used. It's got really fine stuff in it and then the mud. That's what's holding this place together. So we're looking out the window you see that black line y'all that has got to be from the last flash and all of that that's piled on top of it is baked mud just saying this is where threatening rock fell and crushed this back curvature part of the pueblo A little trap of tumbleweeds. Oh, we're standing on the on the west. No, we're standing on the north side. Turn the east side. East side. Oh. Runs east west. So we're on the north side of the east west running wall. Yeah. And the size of this is mind. photos and videos are not going to convey the size of this, so we're just going to include those humans over there for a brief moment. Now the, uh, the square features in the wall would that have been to hold up a roof? Those would have been the, you think? Those? Yeah. Hard to say. Oh, this would have had a roof yeah. up here. Yeah. And it might have gone up this way. Angled. Yeah, there's yeah, there's no door in there. Oh, <laughs> First tea door we've come to. Relatively straight walls still. And hopefully over top of the 
and then focus the compass. Same, same construction, same mortar. Different times. Yeah. Different times, yeah. 200 years. They use the same techniques. <laughs> I'll come with you. camera does not get the immensity of this. <laughs> surprised there are no buildings in there. Yeah, me too. The reason there's not more ruins is because this has been deliberately unexcavated. 